Welcome to Perfect Game Turf Talk. I'm Rachel Barbeau, and uh, we're here live at the World Wooden Bat Tournament at Lake Point, and I am talking with Joey Silen. Uh, he is from Newark, Delaware, and you play for the Academia Warriors. Uh, you did not get the outcome that you wanted today, but I'm sure you took away some wonderful memories from this amazing place, Lake Point. I drove in here today, Joey, and I was like overwhelmed at how amazing it was. Tell me a little bit about uh, your first impressions of uh, Lake Point and what it was like playing here. Well, first, it was really bad because the drive from our hotel was an hour long. <laughs> but then once we got here, we saw the fields, and it just kind of outstanded me because it just looks so nice, and it's a great field. Yeah. Tell, uh, we've talked to all the players about playing on this turf. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. It's pretty to look at, but but tell me what it's like to, from a from a player's perspective playing on it. It's really nice, but at the day after it rains, it's so quick and yeah, you yeah. Gotta slide extra early. Gotcha. So what is what is it like playing in a perfect game tournament? How is it different playing in in a perfect game outing? It's like the opportunity of improving and getting better and having people look at you and playing more teams and just getting to play more games and getting better with those games. Are there more nerves associated with that, Joey, when you know that more people are looking at you for your future? Because, my friend, you play like every position on the field. We were laughing about this in, in a wonderful way. I'm so impressed with you. Before you. the interview, pitcher, catcher, shortstop, third base, outfield, and you said, oh, I can play the other ones as well. Um, is there more pressure on you when you're a, at a perfect game tournament and you know that you have these scouts that are looking at you for college and maybe even beyond that? No, not really. I just play the same every time, and if I don't do good, then I'll come back do good the next time. Or how just, do you how do you control those nerves? Because I know a lot of people out there that they get the butterflies, they get the nerves before big games, big tournaments. They would love to know how to control those. You just gotta put it all in the back of your mind. Think no one's here, no one's there. You gotta play like. You're by yourself, like you're in your room, and you're thinking about next game, next game. And then when you're at that game, think about that game. And once that game's over, think about the next game. Don't think about anything else. Don't think about the scouts. Don't think about no one. I'm taking notes here. You're amazing. <laughs> All right, so I've got to ask you, I think the story for you is – how in the world did you come to be able to play all of these positions? Because some, somebody might look at, at you, an athletic guy, very talented, and say, Thank you. well, I'm just going to – you're welcome. I'm going to focus on just being a pitcher. I'm going to focus on just being a catcher, just being a shortstop. No, my friend, you can play all these positions. So how do you practice and become good at all of those positions? Well, basically it starts when you're little. Because when okay. I was little, I only played infield. I only liked playing infield. But then when you get older and older, you start playing outfield and you start playing infield. Okay. And then when you get to a new team, it's coach says you play the outfield first. Okay. Once you get good at outfield, you can come in the infield. So I started playing in the outfield and I started and he saw that I did good. So I started playing all the infield positions, started at third, second. Then they, then I got quicker and faster. So, yeah. I, just got, so I got the short. And then at first, it's just you just you can kind of just play there. All right. So if I visit with you in a couple of years from now, what position do you think you'll be playing? What's your favorite, and why? Pitcher, because you get to control the game and do whatever you want to do when with your game. All right. One last question for you. When we hashtag on social media, everybody uses Twitter now and Instagram and Facebook. The hashtag is Seize the Turf. And here at Perfect Game and, and Lake Point, it's more about than just the turf. It's about more than that. And and it's about taking a, a, a memory, a lesson from your time here. So I'm wondering when you go home and you look back at this and you've had some time to reflect, what's a lesson that you'll take away and, and what did you, did you leave everything on the field? Yes. And what's a lesson you'll take away from this? I would say the lesson is obviously leave it on the field, but don't get mad at yourself just because you did bad this tournament or if you did really good focus on the next tournament yeah. or and if like you're done like we are yeah focus on what you're going to do next season or if you play school focus on what you're about to do for school just don't bring up the past like think about the present basically i love that those are great life lessons whatever you do all right this superstar is joey silen be sure to follow us on twitter perfect game usa also lake point sports stay here for more live coverage of the world uh, wooden Bat Tournament at Lake Point Sporting Community. And then later on, you can go to youtube.com backslash Lake Point Sports and make sure you use that hashtag, Seize the Turf.